Baking soda. Baking soda is a base. It's what we call a base. I put a lot in there. That's okay. Now, when we mix baking soda with something like vinegar, it gives off a reaction. And sometimes some of these reactions are happening at the bottoms of our oceans, which is also giving off CO2 and carbon dioxide, which isn't necessarily good for our environment, but it's part of Earth's process. So through chemical reactions, we get carbon dioxide. So you guys ready? Yeah. All right, check it out. Just like that, all of those bubbles that you see are filled with that CO2 gas, that bad stuff. Don't anybody start yelling at me for contributing to the gas problem. But that's really what's going on. Now, you can't see it, but there's still some gas in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to light a candle here. Okay. Now, if I'm very careful, I can lift up this, make my fingers smell like vinegar, and slowly pour out... You guys see that? The candle just went out. It looks like I was pouring like an invisible liquid on it. Yes. But I didn't pour any liquid on it at all. Just that CO2 gas came out and covered that candle and put it out. Very, very cool stuff. So with that chemical reaction, we get CO2. Now there's another one we can get CO2 with. You guys have probably seen this before. Diet Coke. You guys can try some of this stuff at home and just make sure your parents are around when you give it a shot. Otherwise, you can ruin a kitchen like I did. Uh, but anyway, my wife is not happy with me. Let's see, what I'm going to do is to prevent too much of an accident from happening here, I'm going to pour this Diet Coke into this beaker. And those fizzies that you see, and whenever you drink Coke too fast or, or a soda too fast and you get that tickly feeling in your nose, that's carbon dioxide. That's that stuff that's contributing to the greenhouse effect. And I'm not doing a very good job pouring this. I was trying to keep the bubbles out of this. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take that the side. We're going to make a mess. Here we go. And those... So, Mentos, just like the reaction that you guys just saw, instead of creating new carbon dioxide, which is what happens when we mix baking soda with uh, vinegar, carbon dioxide is spilling. What this does is this actually acts as a catalyst, which means it makes it start foaming. It actually takes away the carbon dioxide from the soda and pulls it out of the soda and starts to push it out. You ready to see it? Yes, yes. All right, let's see. I really got to be careful. I don't know how big this can get. Let's see. Ready? Death 
Not today. But it's been squoze. Is that a word? And uh, forms dry ice. Very cool. Now, you can do some cool experiments with dry ice. I'm going to do some. First of all, if I take this, this is a piece of metal. The metal here is pretty warm compared to the dry ice, which is at about negative 110 degrees Celsius, uh, Fahrenheit. Cold, cold, cold stuff. That's why I'm using my Gillespie. <laughs> Otherwise, I wouldn't be a happy camper. Whoa! It can actually cause frostbite on your fingers if you hold it with a uh, glove. Check this out. When I take this uh, piece of metal, this little clip here, and I push it up against the dry ice.